Mm-hmm. All right, so I done finally got caught up and shit. So it's like 943. If y'all trying to figure out why and what I'm talking about, like I didn't tell here at the motherfucking video, YouTube is being crazy right now. I'm talking about it's going to take over 9,000 minutes to upload my real households of Atlanta. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. But anyway, what's up, you guys? <laughs> if y'all review for Potomac, I'm, I'm like I said, I'm, I. I'm probably just going to run through these holes like I did last week. And that's what you do with a hole you run through. Them. So let's go. Let's get it. Uh, Robin in her confessional. I swear she gives me candy. Like it's something about. Just go back and watch like the first five, ten minutes. And maybe it's just me. But Robin is holding back when it comes to her and Juan. And um, her. um. I'm sorry, his career move will be a determinant on where their relationship, ooh, excuse me, goes. Karen um, wants to have a family barbecue for her daughter. And this whole t- this talking about that she and her husband can run around the house naked when her daughter leave. Like, she like, picture it. I don't want, no, no, I no, I don't, no, no, mm. Oh, so that's a horrible damn thought. That's like imagining my mom my, my, my damn stepdad. Like, no, not that, no. Shit, that's nasty. Anyway, so Ashley is with Sheila, her mama. You know, that's my dragon partner. Um, And she kind of explains the whole bankruptcy thing, more or less the fact that uh, her mother uh, had uh, purchased a uh, contaminated house. She uh, sued, I guess, the person that sold it to her won the case but it wasn't enough to i guess like take care of everything so it's because of that that uh she had to file for bankruptcy and in doing that you know um ashley is at a place where she's good her and michael and they want to buy uh sheila how sheila's apprehensive but if i'm not mistaken she kind of gives in to it sharice is uh getting ready to throw her 50th birthday party and i will say in the pictures and whatnot she actually looked nice i i Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's just because I'm, I'm trying to get this shit over. But she looked nice. Now, uh, Katie was trying to give her, you know, uh, modeling advice. And she was talking about, so, you know, just like pop. Uh, and she was like, it's just like, you know, well, what I do is I think about math, you know, because I, I suck at math. Like, what's seven plus seven? <sighs> Lights on, but ain't nobody home. So... Giselle's talking to her kids about dating that's on her and I can understand part of why she's doing it but and it's like if her kids are okay with it at the same exact time as well as where you still have to you know what I really can't talk about that because I don't have kids and I'm gonna leave that one alone y'all let me know how y'all feel about um Giselle having that conversation with her daughters about dating Robin and Juan he's staying put at the moment is what it is Cherie's party. Karen don't want to talk to Ashley. Ashley's pursuing her, but uh, yeah, uh, she ain't trying to have it. When this is all said, I'm going to come back and talk to y'all about the motherfucking fashions that I see because this shit is blowing me. I'll be back. See, I-, I swear I believe that they just like to keep shit stirred up for no fucking reason. They need not bring these hoes back for another damn season. I mean, if they do, I might watch it. I, I don't know. But anyway... Sharice raps. Somebody says she know how to rap. Why don't she come bless the mic? Sharice, if you watching this, if you feel so inclined to watch this, don't you ever do that shit again. Mm-mm. That, that, was, that was not becoming. That was not befitting. No. No. Uh, so... Michael didn't have one too many. Okay, apparently he grabbed uh, Andrew's ass. Shit happened. Now, this is one of them things where Giselle, I, I don't know if Robin saw it, but I know Giselle saw it. And they were so fixated on it. So they're talking about it to each other. Okay. Then they want to get um, Ashley involved in it and talk to her about it. She, and Ashley, the thing is, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> like y'all reading too much into this, you know. It's one of those ways. It's like okay, so y'all ain't got shit going on with y'all fucking storylines, and I don't really think Rob. I don't, it's not Robin too much. It's more or less Giselle. You ain't got shit going with your damn storyline. And Ashley made a good point. Y'all need to be worried about y'all men or your lack thereof. Now I will say, you know, 
from what we see, Robin is getting dicked down on the regular. But I understand what she's saying. And it like just made it such a big issue, which is one of those ways it's like, they ain't got shit to do with you. And I think they are so fixed, not they, Giselle is so fixated on Michael from the fucking trip that she just can't let you know well enough die. She just she just stuck on the shit. And they're uh they start talking about is it a white guy thing? Now they probably should have said what they said in the confessional, meaning that they only have dealt with black men, so they're asking them because they deal with white men. But they ain't how the shit came out and they were not, they, um, I think Ashley said, well, you're biracial. They said, no, we're black. I'm, I'm going to leave that one alone. Cause I don't, I don't feel like sitting here getting my blood pressure worked up and I'm going to let the rest of my YouTube family go in on that one. So I'm be right back. Let this wrap up. Then, you know, we go finish this shit off and then I'm going to do some editing, put this shit up and upload when it uploads. I'm taking my ass to bed. I'll be right back. I, I, I want to say praise the Lord on 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 this on on this Sunday. Uh, happy Easter! I probably should say on my last video. Happy Easter to everybody out there that celebrates Easter. Okay, on, on this Easter Sunday. Okay, but uh, uh pra let's let's praise him that this this shit is over next week. Let's let's praise him. All right, so shit pretty much ends there, Giselle and um. Robin Lee, it, it it's, it's just over. All right, again, one of those where the shit was it was too much. They was too invested. Michael whole thing is he gave him a pat on the ass. He didn't grab his ass again. By by virtue of the angle of the camera, we didn't see it. Personally, I really don't give a fuck. You feel what I'm saying? I don't know. Like it, I really do think it's more of. Giselle not having a fucking storyline. I mean, because, well, many of these women have not had fucking story. That's not the point. Anyway, all I want to say is if y'all watch the fashions, I'm sitting here getting, okay, you know, hip hop, like, you know, early hip hop tees and shit, you know, Kooji and shit. You know, like, like I can't go ahead. Like, that's what I'm, motherfuckers came in that motherfucking Walmart fashion and shit. This didn't look like a party. It, it, it looked like a scaled down motherfucking wedding. Like, I don't know what the fuck I was looking at. And if, if you go have a high class, at least make sure that, or try to talk to production and be like, hey, you at least make sure y'all don't get none of that average looking motherfucker. Oh, Lord, there was too many people in there. Now, I'm now here. Let me say this. Just because they look average don't mean they got average money. Because they probably one of those, well, we know we got money. We just ain't got to sit here and put on fronts and shit. But I digress. But y'all let me know how y'all feel. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and share. I will see you guys next week for the finale. Catch me tomorrow for the Love and Hip Hop Reunion Part 2. And I'm out of here. Peace.